Greetings in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, viewers all over the world. Welcome to Charis Missionary Church under the leadership of Apostle JB and Prophetess T. E. Maganemisa. And today I'll be having lunch with one of our international visitors who's going to be unpacking his experience here at home. Sir, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come So, I am a Glitcherau and I come from Mozambique. Alright, great. So, kindly please tell us how did you hear about Charis Missionary Church? Uh, I saw videos on YouTube um, in, in this channel called Charles National Church TV. I think it's TV. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I I came across one of the videos I think two years ago, mm -hmm. and from them I've been following. Oh. So you saying that you found out about us from YouTube? Yeah. Is there a specific video that you probably do remember that you watched that made you? you know, continue wanting to watch more. Mm. So, uh, there are a lot of videos there mm. that, that um, made me continue following. One of them was, you know, the teaching mm. and uh, the scriptures. Like, the explanation of the scriptures, mm. the explanation of the word of God. That made me, you know, pay attention. Mm. But this, because I didn't know Apostle J.B. Mm. So I was just, uh, I was just curious about it. So I was like, okay, seems like this is a true person of God. Mm. So let me carry on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's actually quite intriguing that you just explained that the reason why you started following it is because of the teachings. And yeah. um, a lot of us really just follow because you know of instant miracles or yeah. you know and it's it's quite interesting that you were hooked <laughs> by how the apostle teaches yeah. the stuff. word of god the yeah. word of god yeah. uh, so what was the main reason or what are the main reasons that actually made you to come what made me come to charles you know mm -hmm. i was experiencing uh, different problems in my life mm -hmm. and i was praying and fasting i was praying and fasting a lot like a lot and I prayed and fasted for like for a few months yeah so I was doing seven days then three days then 21 days then 21 yeah. days again then, so. mm. then I said ah so um and I had this revelation from God mm -hmm. that um, if you're having problems mm. right, you either do two things the first one is you pray more or second you uh you look someone bigger mm. than you in the Lord. Mm. So I said, yeah. So I tried the first one. So I increased my length of prayer. Mm -hmm. ah, I fought a lot. <laughs> and I said, you know what? Let me just come. Mm. I was experiencing problems. My own problems in my family. Uh, problems in my family. So the first thing was uh, confusion. So, I remember uh, yesterday when the professor, he said, I will tell you something that you never told anyone. Mm -hmm. So, and that thing was, my mind was a little bit confused. Mm -hmm. so, because I finished school in 2021. Mm -hmm. So, and I was a little bit confused. Although, my heart was telling me to do something. Mm -hmm. but in my mind, I was like, what do I do next? Mm -hmm. What do I do next? I wanted to do one thing, then I stopped. I said, no, I cannot continue you know, studying. Let me stop and work full time, mm -hmm. which is trading, financial markets, then trading. Because I wanted to do also business, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, and this is one of the prophecies also that Daddy told me yesterday. Mm -hmm. He said, what I'm doing now will open doors uh, and you lead to business. Right? Mm -hmm. So that's why every idea I get of business I write uh -huh. because I know it will work out. Amen. So, but uh, I was having also problems in getting uh, contracts with uh, some companies. And uh, yeah, th that's one of the problems. Mm -hmm. that, you know, that I, I cannot continue like this because mm -hmm. since last year, September, I've been applying. Get this contract in the field. and you know, I applied. God confirms it. Mm -hmm. I have strange dreams. Mm -hmm. like I used to have 
So, is that the only reason that made you to come, or do you have maybe specific reasons? And you just elaborated on why, which was the confusion that you just stated. If you do have others, I'd love that you maybe just break it down for us and like fully elaborate on this. Yeah, so um, I have this habit on my head. So, when I have a problem or when I have something that I need to pray for, yeah, so I just write on myself. But you know, I have since uh, we have priorities. Mm. Like this is the first thing I need to do, and the first thing was about my life. Mm. I could not be double-minded mm. and do two things at the same time. Mm -hmm. so this is the first thing. So, but if I'm fasting and praying for the first thing mm. and it's not working, I cannot move on to the second thing. Absolutely. So that's why. I so that uh, in, in my life and my career was the first. Thing. Mm. Thing. But the second thing was um, my family. You know, mm. for me it was strange. Mm. So people have been dying mm -hmm. every year. Like every uh, every year, someone has to go. Mm. So for me, that's too strange. That's true. Yeah. So and I get some donations. I get some things that go to see. The people. And the other reason uh, made me come. Confusion in my relationship. I was a little bit confused because me and my partner we were fighting a lot. Not physical fight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, but we were quarreling and it's like for me. So, and I um, said, so, wow. And I was unsure if we would ever pass through this. Yeah. So, I came. Yeah, so I came. Oh, oh, great. So now you had an opportunity of seeing the men of God. Yeah. No, before we speak about um, you seeing the men of God, you also had an opportunity of, you know, going to church and fellowship. Uh, so yeah. please take us through that experience. Uh, uh, it was amazing, you know, and that's one of the reasons why I decided to stay till Monday. Uh -huh. Because I was supposed to go today mm -hmm. when I saw no, Sunday there's a service so mm -hmm. I said ah, so let me stay because it, I, I felt amazing mm -hmm. and uh, the God you know and I saw the power of God mm -hmm. and one of the things that got me thinking mm -hmm. like about the power of God was I saw the man of God just walking mm -hmm. and people were falling I was like <laughs> wow <laughs> so, oh. wow so I was thinking about the power of God. Mm -hmm. wow, God is amazing. Amen. And and what was maybe one of your highlights of the service on Wednesday? Yeah, one of the highlights was very uh, grateful for everyone. Mm. Yeah, so like he doesn't skip people. Mm. He prays for everyone. Amen. He makes sure he prays for everyone. Mm. I, was, I, was, I was amazed. Yeah, nice. yeah. Uh -huh. So now you had an opportunity of seeing him one on one yesterday. Oh wow, yeah. <laughs> I want you to take us through the journey, you know, the experience rather. Yeah, take so, us through that. So uh, when Daddy had I saw his car. Mm -hmm. So when he arrived, uh, one of the brothers came to uh, call me. Mm -hmm. So when, when we got there, I started feeling the power of God in my, I started feeling the power of God, yeah. Mm -hmm. I said, ah. This man of God is something else. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> mm. He was he wasn't even speaking to me, he was just speaking to one of the people who said in church. Mm. So I was yeah, they used to go. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. So and um he created us we sat here for his present. He started speaking. So the thing is you don't tell him why you came. He tells He's the one. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> and and how was that? Was it was it like maybe shocking to you that you know you don't really get to explain yourself? He tells you yeah, what he, he tells God me. is saying. Yeah. So, but and 
the first thing mm-hmm. he mentioned was he asked me, Do you know a place called Inyapa? And I said, Yes, mm-hmm. yes, 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 there was a fight there and a curse mm-hmm. uh, with my forefathers. Wow. I said, wow. So that one, I don't even think my mother knows about it. In fact, I asked her last day, yesterday night, mm-hmm. she doesn't know. Wow. Wow. So and that's the beginning of my problem. So mm. because that that curse is, is you know starts there. Yeah, starts there. It's flowing through my life. Mm. So so when I heard about that, I was a little shocked. Mm-hmm. Like wow. So and I got convinced that God wants to solve my problem, mm. like from the beginning of it. Amen. So and then he. Uh, he prophesied about the one and he said there is a problem in the curse and that's why you have confusion about one career and two mm. uh, partners. Mm. You know, uh, what can I say? It, it, it was amazing. It, it really was. It was amazing. And I just wanted to ask, do you know of this particular city that the man of God mentioned? Is it a city? Is it a village? What is it? It's a province. It's a province. Yeah. And you are aware of it. You know it. Yeah. I know. And do you know that you guys have maybe extended family members that side? Mm. Yes. Wow. Yeah. And my mom's sibling. Yeah. Oh, he's yes. uh, mm. Wow. That. Wow. That's actually very shocking. Mm. And <laughs> and like what went through your mind at that particular time when you know this person that you've been watching on youtube that you are meeting for the first time and then he like tells you what god is saying about your life and he's not just telling you about that he's telling you regarding the root cause of everything yeah. when it started yeah. like what was going through your mind when when you heard you know <laughs> A man from South Africa <laughs> <laughs> mentioning a province in Mozambique. Mozambique yeah. So for me, it was mind blowing. Mm. So because he told her about it, then he started speaking to the other visitors. Mm. Then I started thinking, uh-huh. and I was just laughing. So he looked at me, he laughed, and he said, You are thinking. And God <laughs> said, You're thinking about one, two, three. What? And I said, Yeah. I, I, I was reading really thinking about the power of God. Uh-huh. <laughs> I was reading really thinking about it, so it was mind-blowing. Mm. Yeah. And what are some of the things that he mentioned yesterday? He did mention about, you know, the province where the curse started. Where the curse started yeah. And do he maybe elaborate on other stuff or, you know, other aspects of your life? Mm. If he did, what is it? So, uh, he spoke about... Uh, to confusion mm-hmm. right and he spoke about uh, ah he said god uh wants him to give me direction wow. so and that uh, is what he said and i need to continue doing what i'm doing mm-hmm. uh, because this will lead to business mm-hmm. and because god has put business in my heart mm-hmm. this is one of the things he wants me to do business and uh, the other thing is mm-hmm. so this uh, my partner said uh, I went to China mm-hmm. and, uh, and she tried also to, to, to go to China mm-hmm. but she failed mm-hmm. and that's one of the reasons why because I wanted to stay there because I was enjoying mm-hmm. I was like I was happy and uh, from there I was, I was thinking so go to China and go mm-hmm. back and, and I decided to go back to stay with her mm-hmm. and then um, and to start working full time. Let's say. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So and because of quarreling, I was thinking, ah, I know I'm supposed to make this one because of the revelation. Because of the revelations we got since since we started. Uh, but because of why I was thinking about if we ever have passed through this mm-hmm. or if we stay together we will just be suffering mm-hmm. with quarrels and everything. So, and the other thing is um, sickness. Mm-hmm. So, we were not talking about sickness at mm-hmm. all. And he said, 
And God said, you're not well there in, 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 in your body. Mm -hmm. It is true. And then he asked me if I went to the doctor. I said, yes, one time. Mm -hmm. One time. Because and God said, I was, I, I was not really, really well. I wasn't feeling well at all. Mm -hmm. And God, uh, and, and that made me think. So, so God really does know everything. He does. And mm. and and He remembers like when you are suffering. Mm. So, so. Uh, yeah. Um. Okay. So I, I want you to also mention that you know after your one-on-one -on -one session with the man of God. Uh, there's a particular time where he called you back to his mm. office. So I want us to speak about that. Because yeah. I, I, I don't want to ask you a question mm -hmm. about it because it will look like I know. So mm -hmm. I want you to say that, um, you know, after I saw him one-on-one, -on -one, another thing is that, you know, after I was settled in, in, in one of the rooms, um, maybe Pastor Blessing came and called me that mm -hmm. he wants to see me again and you elaborate on this is the lighting fine. I mean, the sun yeah. is it fine or not? Yeah, it's okay. Oh, okay. It's hot. It's hot. <laughs> yeah. So, you asked me the question. No, no, no. You just say, just, you can just say, oh, and another thing that happened. Oh, yeah, okay. you know? I just wrote it. Are we good, guys? Can we talk? Or? Yeah, no. No, carry on, carry on. Carry on. Mm -hmm. Oh, and another this thing that uh, so happened was he, coming good. Coming he was good. he impressed mm -hmm. the uh, daddy's happiness. Mm -hmm. So daddy's, you know, in the Lord is big, most of all. So then, um, you know, you know, so, you know, people come here to see. Mm. So he said, do you want me to speak to your partner? He said, I was thinking about that yesterday. Uh -huh. He said, Do you want me to call? I said, Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh -huh. you, can, you can call. Uh -huh. And um, he, he used his phone. Mm -hmm. Wow. Her, so that she wasn't near. Mm. And uh, so she didn't pick up. Mm. So I went to my room and passed the blessing came. Uh, and yeah, passed the blessing came and called me. And then, mm. So then he to see you again. I went there and said, oh. Okay. Hey, hey, can you just say blessing? <laughs> <laughs> Repeat that part. Yeah. 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 I've got my reasons why. But okay. Or you can just say brother blessing. I don't want the, the thing we told you to say it like that. Ah, okay. Yeah, okay, okay, Just say okay. brother but blessing. But that's what we call you, yeah. brother blessing. So. <laughs> mm. Okay, ask Sorry. Okay. So, and, and then, uh, brother blessing came mm. to my room and he called me. Said that he wants to see you again. So I stayed there. Okay. So, so when I got there, he said uh, your partner is online. Okay. So when he called with his phone. With his phone. Okay. So, this, <laughs> so and that made me think, wow, like people of God, mm. like we, we are humble, you know, and men of God, they are also humble. Mm -hmm. Yes, just like Jesus is. Mm. So um, when when we called, when we called her, we started speaking about our problems. Like she, uh, the daddy, my grandmother, advised her mm. and also advised me. Said to my partner, you humble yourself, and to me, he said, you love me. Mm. I made promises that okay, so that was also to end the problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so then my partner started crying. stay in China was because she was going to change her mind there mm. so and we were not going to be together so, and God wants us to be together mm. um, as, as I mentioned earlier our story starts before us mm. like, like our, our parents were 
So my father and the father they work together. Really? Yeah. And uh, that's interesting. Yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. And um, they were not friends. Yeah, they were not they were not best friends at all. <laughs> <laughs> if you if you wow. if you understand. Uh huh. So um so he said we are going to bring the families together. That's the mm. first thing. If we say together, we are going to bring the families together. And the second thing is um she shouldn't be discouraged because she did not study there. Mm. When I start uh, doing business and all, she, she's going to see the glory of God and she's Amen. going to understand why she couldn't go that side. Mm. Yeah. Wow. And how do you feel, you know, after all these revelations regarding your life that the man of God had spoken upon your life, after all these, these advices that he gave you, I mean, you know, having an opportunity of him actually calling your partner you know and advising the both of you mm -hmm. and him mentioning the root cause of the problem mm -hmm. and where it started how does that make you feel so when i got to my room eh, mm -hmm. i laid in the bed and i started laughing really yeah out of joy uh, yeah, uh, because mm -hmm. i was i was really satisfied that mm -hmm. you know god he takes care of his children Amen. like one on one mm. and it makes you feel special mm. <laughs> it makes you that's true so i was laughing and i was like oh, wow god bless church mission and church Amen. and god bless Eddie, mommy, mm. and the same of god bless yes, church Amen. so before I, I i ask you to to invite people in in, in mandarin mm -hmm. just wanted to ask you are you enjoying your meal wow well, yeah uh-huh um, I'm really enjoying it. The food is nice, it's delicious. And um, from from breakfast to dinner, mm -hmm. I enjoy it. That's why uh, when I when I visited this place called Mall of Africa, I did not eat anything there. <laughs> I, I waited. I you came I back. I said, I will eat here. To a home cooked meal. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and what are some of the, um, you know, your best dishes that you got to experience here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, all of them for me. Yeah. All, all of them. All of them, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I noticed that uh, South African people, people like chicken a lot. <laughs> people <laughs> like chicken a lot. Chicken is nice. <laughs> okay. Mm. So I want you to please invite people in Mandarin mm -hmm. to maybe watch Charis TV mm -hmm. or to come experience what you experienced. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Continue, Continue as she still Charis TV. TV.